Welcome to my channel. I'm playing with some beautiful chips again. This is a clock oscillator from a HP 9000 server. I made a video about the destroying of this server and that's one of its little pieces. Funny part of the story is that I didn't have to unsolder this oscillator from the board. When I tossed the board into the recycling uh, bin, well, it simply fell off. I must admit I tossed it pretty hard and this oscillator is a, a relatively heavy thing. It's SMD mounted, it only has eight pins and uh, yeah, that was enough to desolder it. I'm trying to read the writing here on this chip, but my microscope is not sharp enough for that, so, well, I leave it to you to guess what it could mean here. And now something completely different. This is a Xeon processor, from a server, of course. And uh, the reason why it is so wavy is I already heated it quite a bit, so to try to remove the chip from the from this chip carrier. And uh, as you can see, I was only half successful. So a part of the chip came off and some of the chip is still there. But anyway, it's beautiful to look at. When I say part of it came away, I mean the chip split between the layers, so some layers are still here and some are gone. And here you can see the contacts that are soldered to this chip carrier and then distributed to the golden contacts on the other side. I don't know how many layers this uh, PCB here has, but certainly more than and this is another Xeon chip. I was a little bit more uh, successful with the desoldering, but it turns out there is a layer of this solder uh, bumps here, and under this layer is another layer of copper. We can see that a little bit later with a little bit closer and um, yeah you don't see much of the chip of course you can also see some of the layers have also delaminated here and we can see inside the chip so that's somewhere between all these layers of transistors and stuff And sometimes when I try to scrape this uh, contact layer away, there was no copper underneath. Well, it was, but the chip broke between the layers and so we don't see this copper layer. You can see it here. If I flip this little splinter over, there is also part of the chip. So I again split the chip between the layers. Here on this third Xeon chip I try to bend the, uh, the contact PCB a little bit while I was heating it with hot air and uh, it was not really successful because the chip shattered like a piece of glass so that's why you see all these tiny little chunks and splinters here but it's still beautiful to look at.